and take Nick, who wants to challenge your assertion on numbers being descriptors. Oh my. Well then. I'm going to pass this little lav over to Eric. Nick? Oh, uh, well, we're just going to hold on just a second. Oh, oh Eric there. still has to let people know who you are. Hi, Nick. Welcome to the show. Hi, how's it going? Doing good. Doing good. Uh, currently working with one working mic, um, but hang in there. That is, it's temperamental for sure, but we're doing our best. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? Um, well, I wanted to talk about your assertion that numbers are just a uh, descriptor. Okay. Uh, in the statement, five apples exist, I think it could be argued that the five is the, the number of objects that exist and apples are the descriptor of them. Ah, okay. So I, 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 I love that. I just tweak that a little bit. Um, so okay. a while back, actually, I did an episode of Murphy's Law back when I did Murphy's Law, when uh, we would uh, kind of review episodes or a prior call-in show and uh, kind of go over maybe what we did right, what we did wrong, or a little bit more information about it. And um, I, I specifically did an episode with Jenna Belk. Um, Maybe someone in the comments can link that episode. Uh, but essentially, in my mind, okay, do you, um, in my mind, I kind of have this wireframe. So you're thinking about an apple, right? So okay. I I imagine like a, um, a computer program that that that's, has an apple. So you have this kind of wireframe of an apple. You haven't actually mapped any texture on it or anything like that. In my mind, that wireframe right is existence and you map okay. all you map all of the descriptors onto the existing thing um and apple and the number one are things that you map onto it um and i think that you're looking at the wireframe and you're saying that the thing we're mapping everything onto that wireframe is the number one does that sound about right um like arguably that it could be, not necessarily that it is, that it is specifically the, the thing, but um, I guess the uh, anything that you think about is an individual thing, and then the uh, the descriptions like uh, if it's an apple, what color it is, what it tastes like, all mm -hmm. that stuff is descriptions of it. So uh, not so much focus on the numbers, so much as the I guess the existence or the identity of the thing in question. Absolutely. I think the identity is what is applied to the existing. So, it, 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 and just as a easy kind of mental exercise, and try and describe something that does not exist. You can't. But as soon as you start to say, you know, as soon as you say a thing exists, even as a concept, then you can start mapping descriptors onto that. And so, um, I would not use the numbers as the thing that's getting mapped on because it can vary. And you're also, it, it, I, I just, even if you look up the definition of adjective, um, you know, numbers are in that definition. Um, I, 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 I wouldn't say that numbers are, are, are what you want to map it to. I would suggest using existence as the thing that those qualities are being mapped onto and the number is, is just one of those qualities. So, so in, the, in the simple sentence like five apples exist um, mm -hmm. or I have five apples, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I guess both the apples and the, the quantity of them uh, are the descriptors and just the the concept is the thing that's being the exists. Or is the, the exists is, it's easy. Here's the thing that, that, that it, it takes a long time to kind of, uh, at least it took a long time to wrap my noggin around it, is that when you say five apples exist, the exist part is not actually a descriptor of the apples at all. Right, it's the first. Because... It's like the thing that they're doing or the state that they're in. I, well, j just just the thing that all other descriptors are mapped onto. To say that something exists as a quality um, gets you into some really, really weird territory because y you can't define something as existing because the only things that don't exist, you can't define at all. And so as soon as you start to add a definition to something that doesn't exist, then 
it now exists even as a concept. And so, oh. <laughs> okay, you have to, like an idea would exist. Yeah, so it, I have the idea for a character. Hence the ontological it. argument. Yeah, that, 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 j j just as a concept. Yeah, uh, you know, you can draw okay. you can draw a map of of Middle Earth, um, and that is a concept in your mind, right? That 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 exists in that way, but you cannot map any qualities to non-existence and because of that existence is what those qualities are mapped onto at least okay. to me i don't uh, know you? what do you think i think that was very interesting and we should probably move on to the next call absolutely no i know eric had a blast with that i love it my only concern is that the audience might not be at the same the same speed so we want to make sure to keep no, it moving yeah, kind of bored. <laughs> no but uh you guys both sounded like you knew what you were talking about i had fun being on the phone for a minute there um and <laughs> we're very very happy that you called nick thank you so much thank you for taking me y'all have a great day you too bye <laughs> but i want to get there it's so fun i know we should have an entire numbers stream at some point we can I, talk I, about the book of numbers we can talk about how to get people's numbers we could talk about the Ooh, if somebody wants to call in about the book of numbers or deuteronomy or kings or joshua uh call because i am i am in and as far as numbers are concerned do you want to try and pick up uh 